Hello Linux fans, Rob here coming at you from an undisclosed remote location with limited bandwidth. So this evening we are going to have a very quick overview of another beta release, Zorin OS 12. My purpose this evening with this video is just to give you an idea, a quick overview of what the beta release is looking like and how it's shaping up and how things are coming together so that you can determine if this is something perhaps you want to download and try yourself. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Zorin OS is based off of Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, they use the GNOME stack in, these, in this new beta release and have made some changes to their overall uh, desktop environment and, and UI in general. Now they still have some theming that goes on and some options for uh, changing the interface and so we're going to cover some of those things briefly. You know, at first glance here, this looks like a launcher. Uh, this is new for them. This looks like a launcher from Windows 7. Uh, I even downloaded a photo here for those of you who've been using Linux for so long that you forgot what that looks like. But you have a typical layout here of, um, you know, documents, pictures, music, so on and so forth with your various categories here on the left. And so let's just jump back in now that you've seen that and take a quick look here. So you've got the same thing, home, documents, downloads, music. And I think this would be effective for someone coming from a Windows environment. They, you know, would be comfortable with this. Um, one of the things that I don't really care for in this particular um, menu launcher here is that there's no scaling of the window itself, so you're scrolling. And I just feel like um, we, you know, we could find better ways and kind of get away with that. You know, um, if you get into a category that has a lot of software, uh, you may find yourself scrolling quite a bit, a bit, and to me that's just an extra step. But for the most part, I think this would be effective for um, you know someone again coming from Windows. Uh, muscle memory would be in play there, and you know it's attractive and and uh, theme-wise, it matches their panel down here. Although the panel is uh, was by default uh, more transparent, but uh, just for recording purposes. I took that down to to match here. Uh, this is what you launch into upon first launch and the only thing I've changed other than again uh, took the transparency out of the panel just so the icons and things would show up uh, I increased the font size. Um, so again briefly we're going to go through some things. Wine is pre-installed. I'm not going to go through the entire list of software that's available here just for the sake of time. Um, you know LibreOffice is installed and um, Let's just jump over here to the file manager via the menu launcher, which is nice to have. And so uh, what you're going to see here is a themed version of uh, files from uh, the GNOME. Uh, if we go here to, uh, you'll see that this is files 3.18.5. And so the theme, um, you know, carries over here into the file manager. And this is a perfectly capable file manager. Um, you know, you, you've got preferences to go in and choose uh, one click to open a file or a folder. Um, you have two views here. Uh, so let's go in here. You have two views, which will be the icon view, which you can zoom icons in and out. And then you have list view as well. And right now the zoom slider doesn't, there we go. Okay. So again, perfectly capable file manager uh, theme to, to match uh, the OS. Now let's talk about another piece of software that Zorin is known for. Uh, let's go to System Tools, and there you're going to find Zorin Appearance. Now one of the things that um, Zorin is kind of known for is their layout manager. So here in this case you have three layouts. Uh, right now they are not named, and I'm not going to go through the layouts. Um, but uh, you know you you see visually what changes take place um, per layout. I think it would be maybe nice to have a name there, and that may happen. Again, this is a uh, beta software. Um, I doubt this far along that you'll see that uh, where they add a name, but um, you get the idea of what it is you're changing into. And then if you scroll down, you have. Uh, further interface changes that you can make here, Ic icons on the desktop, uh, title, buttons left or right, window scaling, animation, so on and so forth. And then you can choose your theme colors here, and again I'm not going to change that since we're recording. I want to get through this one pretty fast. Uh, you can go in and change your fonts. Pretty nice selection of uh, fonts out of the gate here. 
and then you can go in and uh, make adjustments to your panel. Now you have two options for position which is top and bottom, uh, auto hide on or off, uh, the height and uh, again transparency. I did increase the height again just for the recording purposes. You know this is a high res resolution screen on an 11.6 inch um, size screen which uh, might make it difficult to see in recording so there's a few things I bumped up there. Uh, you can toggle on or off show application menu and so this is just a quick look again at what is called um, well I should know that since I just had it open let's go back in here Zorn appearance so let's see you just quickly uh, what else you may want to see so if we launch into the software manager if you are familiar with GNOME this will look familiar to you we'll go ahead and maximize this screen uh, you can see here there's a couple of updates so we have OS updates um, and uh, so I did not do updates in this case this evening with limited bandwidth I just wanted to uh, focus on giving you an idea of what this looks like overall in case um, you know this is something you want to try you have similar controls here that you would see in GNOME if you're familiar with that um, and you know on multiple occasions I have tried uh, various distributions with GNOME and I'm just not there yet I'll say it that way um, I favor other desktop environments and um, you know I've heard people say well you've got to give GNOME six months and and so I may do that one day just to see if it works but at this point um, there are some things I like about the GNOME desktop environment and and uh, but the uh, the things that I don't care for outweigh the things that I do so what I see here is you know they're they're uh, using the GNOME stack here and they've done some of their own work um, and so some of that I see is an improvement over the actual GNOME desktop environment so I hope this helps um, well before I wrap it up here uh, Gear Email uh, by default is installed as well as the Chromium web browser these icons here on the bottom were uh, in place by default with the exception of simple screen recorder and the settings icon uh, these icons can be um, moved around and let's see here watch it make a liar there we go so it's a simple click left click and hold and drag and um, so you know if you're a Zorn OS fan and um, you know have used this in the past hopefully I showed you enough to uh, allow you to see kind of the new changes and uh, just again for the sake of keeping this thing brief uh, it looks like most of the stock applications that are installed by default are um, the same applications that you would see there in, in GNOME. You've got LibreOffice, oh, excuse me, you've got LibreOffice, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. I know this is a short one, but if you uh, see the video from yesterday, which was almost an hour, uh, they'll balance each other out, hopefully. I appreciate you watching, and we will check you later.